Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Ashish and I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. If you're someone who's looking for information about the UK MLA, then this is the video for you. In this video, we'll talk about UK MLA in a lot of detail. Please support my work by clicking on the like button, sharing this video as much as possible and subscribing to this channel. Let's start. So what is UK MLA? The full form of UK MLA is UK Medical Licensing Assessment. And this is an assessment which tests the core knowledge, skills and behaviors needed to practice safely as a doctor in the UK. Who will have to go for the UK MLA? All the international medical graduates who will be applying for GMC registration to practice as a doctor in the UK will have to appear in UK MLA and the MLA will replace the existing PLAB exams. Also, all the UK medical students as part of their medical school degree before they can join the medical register will have to go for the UK MLA. And this is a bit different from the current situation in which the UK medical students do not have to go for PLAB exams and PLAB exams are just for international medical graduates. But the UK MLA will replace the PLAB exams and everyone irrespective of where they have trained from will have to go for this exam. And this will be very similar to the US MLA where everyone will have to go for a common exam. When is the UK MLA being rolled out? For IMGs, this will be early 2024. And for UK medical students, this will be for everyone who's graduating in the academic year 2024 to 2025. What are the parts of UK MLA? So this will be a two part assessment and these will include Applied Knowledge Test or AKT. And the second part will be CPSA or Clinical and Professional Skills Assessment. This is very similar to the current PLAV1 and PLAV2 exams. Let's talk about each one of them. So the first one is the Applied Knowledge Test or AKT. This will be an on-screen exam. The current PLAV1 exam is a pen and paper exam in which you'll have to fill in these circles with a pencil, but this AKT will be an on-screen exam. It will contain MCQs like the current PLAV1 exam and the type of questions will be like the PLAV1 exam. This test will run four times a year for international candidates at a number of locations worldwide. And you'll need to pass the AKT before you can take the CPSA or the second part of the UK MLA. Let's talk about CPSA, which is Clinical and Professional Skills Assessment. This is an OSCE type exam and this will be held in Clinical Assessment Center in Manchester. And this will be very similar to the existing PLAB2 exam. Once you pass the CPSA, you'll have to apply for the GMC registration to practice as a doctor in the UK. And you'll have two years for this after passing the CPSA exam. Let's talk about the English language requirements, which you will need before you can go for the AKT. So if you're going for IELTS Academic for UKVI, then you'll have to score at least seven in each of the testing areas and an overall score of 7.5. If you're someone who's going for OET, you'll have to go for the medicine version and get at least a grade B in each of the testing areas. And both of these certificates will be valid for two years. This is similar to the existing state and you need to have the same English requirements in the current PLAV1 and PLAV2 as well. The cost and number of attempts are still undecided and the GMC hasn't given any information about both of these. The syllabus will include situations typically faced by doctors working in the UK Foundation program. This is very important because 
This exam won't test how much you know. It just tests whether you are a safe doctor or not and you have the basic foundation knowledge or not. And this exam will test all the situations which a junior doctor or an intern level doctor experiences in the UK while working in a hospital. So there are three themes and six domains around which the syllabus will be based. Let's talk about them. The three themes include readiness for safe practice, managing uncertainty, and delivering person-centered care. The six domains include the areas of clinical practice, which include medicine, surgery, mental health, etc. Then areas of professional knowledge, which includes biomedical sciences, ethics, and law. Then the next one is clinical and professional capabilities, which includes assessing and managing risk and safeguarding vulnerable patients. The next one includes practical skills and procedures, which can include otoscopy, ophthalmoscopy, checking peak expiratory flow rate, and lots more. The next domain is patient presentations. And the last one is testing disease conditions. All these domains and themes are very similar to the current PLAB1 and PLAB2 exams. Now there can be some situations which you can face if you have already passed one of the parts and then the UK MLA gets rolled out. Let's talk about each of these situations. The first one is if you have passed both parts of the PLAB test, what do you need to do? So you have two years to apply for GMC registration to practice in the UK and you won't have to go for any of the exams of the UK MLA. The next situation is you have passed PLAB 1 but not attempted PLAB 2. So if you have passed PLAB 1 within two years, then you can go for the second part of UK MLA, which is the CPSA. The third situation is that you have attempted PLAB 1 but you have not passed it. So you can go for AKT if the UK MLA is rolled out and all your previous attempts in the PLAV1 exam will be counted as attempts towards part one of the UK MLA, which is AKT. The next situation is that you have passed PLAV1 and attempted PLAV2, but you haven't passed PLAV2. So you can directly go for CPSA and all the attempts in PLAB 2 will be counted towards maximum attempts of part 2 of the UK MLA exam, which is the CPSA. I've received multiple questions on my Instagram and people are really anxious about the UK MLA being rolled out. According to my views, I think both of these exams will, will be very similar to the current PLAB 1 and PLAB 2 exams because the domains which are being tested and the themes which are being tested in the UK MLA, they are very similar to the current PLAB1 and PLAB2 exams. So you don't need to be a lot worried about it. You don't have to study anything extra for these exams. They will be very, very similar. It's just a change of the names. And this exam will give everyone a fair opportunity because all the UK medical students as well as international medical graduates will be going for the same exam and the exam will focus on the basics and they will just assess whether you are a safe doctor or not and whether you know the basic medical stuff or not. So don't be too anxious about it. Just focus on your current resources for the PLAB1, PLAB2 exams, and you will be fine. I hope that I was able to give a broad picture of what UK MLA is. If you have any more queries about the UK MLA, then post them in the comment section and I will reply to you here on YouTube. If you want to see more of such videos, then click on the like button, 
share this video as much as possible and subscribe to this channel so that this channel can reach more of doctors like you and they can get help from this channel regarding the same topic as well. I'll see you soon in another such video. Thanks a lot for watching.